Home Minister Amit Shah says Jammu and Kashmir integral part of India. Lok Sabha takes up discussion on government resolution. Fourth session of 13th Nagaland Legislative Assembly begins. Sharangain Longkuma elected unopposed as Deputy Speaker. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal lays foundation stone of one lakh houses under Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana Gramin. Manipur government to construct 100 check dams for conservation of water in hill areas, says Chief Minister N. Biren Singh. And in cricket, India to take on West Indies in the final T20 International tonight at Guyana, eyeing for series whitewash. Good evening, viewers, and a warm welcome to Northeast News. I'm Changam Latumra, and now the details. The government today moved the statutory resolution in the Lok Sabha to scrap the special status to Jammu and Kashmir under Article 370. The Lok Sabha has taken up the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Bill 2019 for consideration and passing. The bill seeks to make Jammu and Kashmir a union territory with legislature and Ladakh a union territory without legislature. Home Minister Amit moved the Jammu and Kashmir resolution and the reorganization bill in the House. Jammu and Kashmir Reservation Second Amendment Bill 2019 was also moved in the House. The Rajya Sabha has already adopted the resolution and passed the bill on Monday. Speaking on the resolution and the bills, Amit Shah said, Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of India which includes Pakistan-occupied Kashmir also. He said the resolution and the bill ensure that Jammu and Kashmir remains with India forever. He asserted that that Parliament has full powers to make laws for the entire country and the Constitution of India and the Constitution of Jammu and Kashmir both allow for this. Participating in the discussion, Congress leader Manish Tiwari questioned the way in which the central government streamrolled the decision and sprang a surprise on the people of Kashmir. The fourth session of the 13th Nagaland Legislative Assembly began today with paying of homage to the passing away of former Defence Minister and Chief Minister of Goa, Manohar Parikar, Speaker of Meghalaya Legislative Assembly, Dr. Donkupar Roy, and former Deputy Speaker of Nagaland Legislative Assembly and former Minister Roko Nicha. During the first session, Chief Minister and Minister in Charge of Finance, Nifi Rio, introduced the Nagaland Protection of Interests of Depositors in Financial Establishments Amendment Bill 2018. Several bills, including MIT University Nagaland Act 2011 Repeal Bill 2019, were introduced in which the House will take up on the last day of the session on August 8th for passing. Members also discussed the issues related to registration of indigenous inhabitants of Nagaland and inner line permit. Meanwhile, Nationalist Democratic People's Party MLA Sharingain Longkuma has been elected unopposed as the Deputy Speaker. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal today laid the foundation stone of one lakh houses under the national scheme of Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana Gramin at a function held at Saru Sajai Sports Complex in Guwahati today. Addressing the gathering, Chief Minister claimed that Assam is once again on the track of progress and the government will bring back its past pride. He said that it is due to the special attention of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The state has developed a lot in various sectors. Sonawal also vowed to improve the agriculture sector so that quality products can be produced with maximum quantity and exported the same abroad. Assam Panchayat and Rural Development Minister Naba Kumar Dole also addressed the meeting. At the function, the Chief Minister also distributed bank loans to 1,000 self-help groups and appointment letters to 300 youths trained under Din Dayal Upadhyay Gramin Koshal Vikash Yojana. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh chaired a meeting of chairmen and members of Autonomous District Councils, ADCs of different hill districts regarding rainwater conservation under different schemes in Imphal today. Speaking at the meeting, the Chief Minister urged ADC chairmen and members to join hands and coordinate with respective deputy commissioners in taking up water conservation harvesting works in different villages, stating that Panchayati Raj institutions of different valley districts had already started 
executing water harvesting conservation works in their respective areas, the Chief Minister urged the ADCs to expedite works in hill districts as well. He said that the state government is planning to construct around 100 check dams at different foothills with financial assistance from the centre for water harvesting. He urged the ADCs and DCs to identify streams where these dams can be constructed. In Tripura, with the aim to create awareness among the people about the discovery of gas in Kubal area and also ONGC's presence in South District, ONGC Tripura Asset has organized a day-long workshop on Kubal gas production at Hapiana International Trade Center, Trade Fair Center. The workshop was inaugurated by Chairman of Tripura Industrial Development Corporation, Tinku Roy, highlighting the exploration and production efforts being carried out by ONGC. Asset manager, ONGC, ONGC Tripura Asset, stressed on the importance of greater coordination and interaction amongst the various stakeholders all along the gas value chain. He suggested that for the benefit of common man, greater penetration of CNG, PNG, was necessary. The program was attended by senior state government officials and other stakeholders. In Manipur, a two-day regional conference of Northeastern Zone and the Digital India Land Records Modernization Program, jointly organized by Rural Development Department along with Revenue Department, concluded in Imphal today. Speaking on the occasion, Consumer Affairs Minister Karam Shyam advocated for conducting land survey in the hill areas and maintaining its land record without offending the tribal customary and traditional land holding system. The minister appealed to the hill villagers to cooperate towards achieving the program. He said that computerization of land records had been fulfilled in 473 revenue villages out of 602 villages surveyed in six valley districts and the remaining villages will be covered within this year. The Tripura government has sounded alert across the state following an outbreak of dengue fever in neighboring Bangladesh. The administration has come up with an advisory for people traveling to Bangladesh from the state. Awareness campaign was also launched and arrangements were made to fight the disease. Bangladesh is facing one of its worst ever dengue fever outbreaks with the government confirming 15,369 such cases since January 1. In Manipur, a minor girl aged 13 years from Thobal Ketri Lekai died due to Japanese encephalitis, JE, infection on Sunday at Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, RIMS Hospital. Meanwhile, a red alert has been announced in Thobal district with regard to the rising cases of Japanese encephalitis. In the meantime, 12 persons were found to be suffering from Japanese encephalitis, with another two individuals confirmed with suffering from dengue. Following this, the district administration, Thobal, along with other departments concerned, have taken up measures to combat the rising cases of JE in the district. Welcome back. And in sports news, in cricket, India will be looking for a complete whitewash over the West Indies in the 2020 international three-match series when the two teams clash in the final at the Providence Stadium in Guyana tonight. The match will begin at 8 p.m. India took an unbeatable 2-0 lead by defeating West Indies in the second T20 by 22 runs through Duckworth-Lewis method at Londa Hill in the U.S. on Sunday night. All India Radio will broadcast bilingual commentary alternately in Hindi and English. English from 7.30 p.m. Manipur Textiles, Commerce and Industries Minister Thongjam Biswajit Singh on Monday led a mass tree plantation drive inside the premise of Manipur Trade and Expo Center located at Lamboy Kong Nang Kong. More than 500 tree saplings were planted by the officials, staff of the department and entrepreneurs. The mass tree plantation will help in beautification and landscaping the premise of the center. Addressing media persons, the minister stated that a mass plantation program is part of the central government program of Mission Green India with an aim to create awareness among the people for conservation and preservation of forests. He opined that different varieties of fruit-bearing, water-bearing trees will be planted inside the campus. He urged all to take responsibility in nurturing the plant till it attains maturity. The Assam State Committee of the CPIM today organized a protest rally against unwarranted harassment of common people by the NRC authorities in the name of re-verification of claims and objections defying Supreme Court orders. The demonstration held in front of the state coordinator of NRC in Guwahati was participated by several party leaders and workers. A memorandum was also submitted to the state coordinator demanding immediate halt of the harassment meted out to the common people. 
In Nagaland, Mahila Shakti Kendra celebrated Girl Child Week on the theme Empowering Girls for a Brighter Tomorrow at Christian High School Longleng on Monday. The main objective of the celebration is to be aware them on girl child rights and facts of life and to address the girl child issues associated to their health, respect, education, nutrition, etc. Robi Sangtam, EAC Longleng, in his keynote address, stated that the girls sh that girls should stand for their rights and pursue in whichever field they are interested in. After the program, a special session was conducted where the girls' students were given opportunities to explore their talents and gift hampers were given to them. In Meghalaya, the construction of the state of art new assembly building at Maudiangdiang in New Shillong Township is going on in full swing. The construction of the project began on June 15 following issue of work order by the Meghalaya government to the Uttar Pradesh government based public sector undertaking Rajkia Nirman Nigam Limited. Speaking to reporters on the status of the project, PWD Pub building executive engineer R. Sutna informed that the firm has been given 30 months time to complete the project. He said that they will need to hand over the project to the state government on, on or before January 14, 2022. The new assembly building would be constructed at a total cost of 127 crore rupees. In Tripura, the crime branch yesterday grilled former Minister Badal Chaudhary in connection with the economic offences in flower construction work. A team led by DIG crime branch R. Gopala Krishna Rao continued the questioning for over five hours. However, the former minister told reporters that he was summoned for a discussion. He also stated that the officers were informed that agencies like Jadavpur University, IIT Delhi and CRRI already certified that the structure was ready for public use. Meanwhile, the flyover project that started in May 2015 is now in final stages of completion. And before we wind up, a recap of the headlines once again. Home Minister Amit Shah says Jammu and Kashmir integral part of India. Lok Sabha takes up discussion on government resolution. Fourth session of 13th Nagaland Legislative Assembly begins. Sharingam Longkumar elected unopposed as Deputy Speaker. Assam Chief Minister Sarban and the Sonowa lays foundation stone of one lakh houses under Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana Gramin. Manipur government to construct 100 check dams for conservation of water in hill areas, says Chief Minister N. Biren Singh. And in cricket, India to take on West Indies in the final T20 international tonight at Guyana, eyeing for series whitewash. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.